So today we are doing The Smiths, and this is Wonderful Woman. This was requested by somebody, uh, I think their name was Christian, actually. And uh, anyway, I just remembered that part, so why not say it? Uh, and they said that this is a great song, and uh, yeah, so we're going to get into it uh, and see what it's all about. Uh, always love The Smiths, you know, Smiths Friday here. Uh, let's go, let's go, The Smiths. Okay. <laughs> why that uh, the person likes that song uh, the harmonies I want to say the harmonies I don't know if it's only Morris's voice going over uh, as I'm on genius.com here and all it says for the credits is written by Johnny Marr and Morrissey and released in 1983 does not say the personnel but uh, I want to say that there might be somebody in the background there as well or it might be just Morrissey's vocals and uh, either way really love the harmony there and uh, really loved how he stretches out uh, the words there. I want to say with the word her, when it's, oh, what to be done with her. And uh, also just how he sang, again, I don't know if it was the same lyric, I can't remember now. But, uh, you know, yeah, he would just keep that, uh, the tempo there. And then he would just say the word and, you know, ex accentuate it, whatever. I can't remember the word. I'm an idiot. But, uh, yeah, I really loved his voice, as always. I mean, it's Morrissey here. And, uh <laughs> I really love the sound there, the uh, almost like a country sound, almost like a country influence or something in the background. Um, I'm not very like you know intelligent when it comes to instruments and everything, but uh, the background music was great, whatever. And uh, yeah, it's just there's a little thing back there, and uh, I don't know if it's a guitar or what, because again, it doesn't say the credits. Here. It usually just has the credits and the personnel and everything, but uh, that is not here. And uh, yeah, so I, I liked it all, I really did. And uh, we'll talk about the song now. So. 
It says, uh, here's what Morrissey said about this song. Uh, so it says, as quoted in Simon Goddard's book, Songs That Saved Your Life. So, Morrissey said, in a mo mon monotonous way, <laughs> it's quite tongue-in-cheek. Okay, so that's not surprising. Uh, the Wonderful Woman is actually an incredibly vicious person, but still, at the end of the day, she had this incredible magnetic ray to me. So I guess it's a true story. All the things that she wanted to do, nasty as they were, <laughs> were completely forgivable due to whatever reason. It's all metaphysical. Well, ain't that something. And also it says, Wonderful Woman was released as a B-side to This Charming Man, which is one of the Smith's most known songs. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty good, a pretty good B-side on that, on, or a pretty good A-side to this B-side. Uh, so, going over some annotations now. So here, her head, she lay until she, she'd rise and say, I'm starved of mirth. Let's go trip a dwarf. So, yeah, that, that lyric got me a little bit. I didn't know what was going on. But, uh, the, so the annotation, this woman is, who is utterly evil would rest until she decide that she's lacking in amusement and wants to have a good laugh at somebody's else, somebody else's misfortune. In this case, it is by tripping a dwarf. <laughs> so, yeah, that, you know, that's quite the first uh, verse. And uh, so then we have, oh, what, uh, what to be done with her? Oh, what to be done with her? She's a bad person, and Morrissey knows he shouldn't be with her. But he questions himself in a rhetorical way, asking what can can be done with her. Uh, so yeah, what to be done with her? And also, like when I saw that, I took it as like, I mean, it's, I guess the comma is not there, but oh, what to be done with her? So it's like, oh, what life would I have if I could just be done with her? But uh, yeah, I mean that's you know it's music. You can take it any way you like. So then we go on ice water for blood with an either heart or spine, and then just to pass the time, let us go rob the blind. <laughs> So, we have another kind of a same thing as the first verse. She's not human and has no more compass, yet even though Morrissey knows this, he cannot help but fall in love with her. Well, my goodness. You know, I mean, I'm sure some people have been there. You know, you fall in love with the wrong person, and, uh, you know, they're quite the terrible person, but they just have a, a leash on you. So, what to be done with her, I ask myself. What to be said of her? Morrissey is uh, questioning his own judgment, what can be said of this woman who has no morals? And then with the last uh, annotation here, the last lines, when she calls me, I do not walk, I run. <laughs> oh, when she calls, I do not walk, I run. So, I mean, she's really got him around her, her finger. Due to his obsession and infa infatuation with this woman, whenever she calls upon him, he rushes to get there as soon as possible. So, yeah, this whole song here, like uh, the person said who requested this, it's a very short song, not many lyrics. I mean, there's only one, two, three, four, five uh, paragraphs, stanzas, whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a short song, but it really depicts a lot here. There's like, and sometimes in songs, by the end of the song or something, uh, they'll be like, you know, oh, I gave her up or I let her go, whatever. But obviously with this song, it just ends with, I do not, when she calls, I don't walk, I run. So like, even by the end of the song, he's still as attached as he was at the start of the song so yeah this is quite quite the music uh the the music quite the song here and uh it's quite the quote there as well so i guess like i said i don't know if this is uh he says it's quite tongue-in-cheek so i mean i don't know if this, he ever had this kind of a woman i mean he might have uh you know with morrissey you never figure you know with morrissey and uh yeah the wonderful woman is actually incredibly vicious and uh but at the end of the day, she has a magnetic ray, and it doesn't make me want to go away. So, I mean, you know, some people find that per that person in their life, and, uh, you know, they can be bad or they can be good, and uh, you never know. So, I don't know what I'm talking about now. But anyway, I like this song. I really like it, and I'm happy I reacted to it. And, uh, like I said, I really love the background music in there, and uh, I wish I knew more about the song. But there's not many uh, about the personnel or anything. I guess I could Google it. I mean... You can talk amongst yourselves over there. Uh, hold the phone. Smiths and Wonderful Woman. See if anything comes up. Because I just went on Genius.com. And because uh, that's usually my go-to. And uh, yeah. So I mean, Rolling Stone has something about it. Just ranks their songs. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not, many, there's not much about it. <laughs> There's a song meanings. I guess I can go on this for just that quick second. Sometimes they have, uh, there's comments. I mean, I can look at some comments. And uh, yeah, so it says, it's the same quote that was already given. Uh, so yeah, he, somebody says he admitted this, this is autobi autobiographical. My goodness. Uh, whoever it was about, whether it was a, a 
some woman about Linder or someone else. I guess Linder was a person in his life. Uh, we don't know for sure. Uh, so yeah, I, I guess like I, the other people are saying, this is autobiographical. So anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> There's not much else to say. Really like the song, and uh, yeah, appreciate you sticking around. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, thanks for liking and subscribing and commenting, and uh, thanks for liking my Smith's reactions. And uh, yeah, so you know, come again, and uh, I'll be glad to have you. Oh yeah, okay, goodbye. Thank you again for watching.